So ever since I can remember, I have loved tech. Oh, I've been obsessed with it. And it's always been a part of my life, you know, even growing up or having grown up, now that I am a grown up, people have a different, I don't know what you want to call it, a weak, weaknesses or, 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 or desires or, let's put a positive term on it, treats that they like to spend on them, that they like to buy for themselves. And for some people, that's cars. For other people, it's clothes. And for me, it's been tech. Cameras, microphones, uh, smart home stuff. You guys already know the deal. If you're watching this video, you're probably a subscriber. If you're not, we might have a bit of an issue. I'm actually gonna keep my glasses off because the reflection. So I say all of this to say, having been someone who loves tech, I've always been really interested, or I, I suppose like since I started kind of becoming more passionate about Islam, I've I, I've really wanted to figure out a way. Well, two things really. One, I've wanted to see how technology can enhance the lives of Muslims, and then two, I've wanted to see, or I've wanted to, I suppose, try and. Uh, be a part of it in some way, uh, be a, a, a be a, a a part of moving that needle, a needle mover, and um, and, and that's been tough. And, and like so, you know, with we, we, Freshly Grounded, like we we wanted to kind of we were trying to figure out a way we could turn Freshly Grounded into a SaaS business, for example, SaaS being um, software as a service, and 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 other things like we've had other ideas. The point being is that. I love tech. I see the advantages and beauty of tech, and I understand the intricacies uh, of tech when it comes to, like anything, Islam, because we have our very core and important set of morals and beliefs, and we have to make sure that we don't step beyond those. And when you bring tech and uh, techni technological, technological tech, tech innovation into the mix, uh, you have to be very, very careful. The truth is, is I'm not a developer, and although I love tech, I'm not a technical lover of tech. I suppose I'm more of a creative and a creative level of tech. And that's why I've ended up doing amazing things that I'm so in love with, like Freshly Grounded and, you know, uh, building or trying to build this YouTube channel and all of the other projects, live events and so on and so forth. But it's never really scratched that itch of wanting to be a needle mover. And um, that was until recently. So recently I came across this app called Tertil and I fell in love. Tertil is an app that uses AI, artificial intelligence, to enhance or to aid your memorization and revision of the Quran, essentially. It's, you could say a Quran app, but that's probably not the best description of it. It uses your voice and, 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 and that's what leads the app. So you can do things, I'm going to show you guys a, a little later in this video, kind of like some of my favorite features of it, but it, it, it shows you, it allows you to do things like, for example, completely blank out a page and it listens to you as you recite that page and it fills in the, uh, the ayat on the page as you, as you, as you recite them. It, and it's almost like having like a friend with you who can listen to you and tell you, and tell you, and, and they have the mushaf in their hand, they can tell you when you make a mistake and it actually does it, it actually has mistake detection, so it, it, it stops you when you've made a mistake. Uh, and there's so many other features. I'm going off a tangent here because I'm going to show you guys this stuff later. The point is, is I, fell, I, I came across this app and I fell in love with it. The long story short is, and this is the big life update, that after kind of a couple months now, to be honest, of uh, discussions and interviews and meetings, I've had an opportunity to, to, to become part of something that I think is going to move, move that needle. And um, I'm really excited about that. And I'm really excited to let you guys know that I am now the head of marketing for Tartil which is a, an AI company or a tech company that is by Muslims. It's by these amazing like technical, uh, this technical team, these developers, like it's, it's everything that I love about a tech company. It's super like forward thinking with tech. These guys are like ex Facebook, ex Twitter developers and so on and so forth. And they've come together and they've created this app to better the experience for the Muslim Ummah. And it's amazing. And so that's the news. And it doesn't change anything for Freshly Grounded. Uh, at all, Freshly Grounded is and always will be my baby, and it, and and Alhamdulillah, it, I, I'm it, it, everything is 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 going full steam ahead with Freshly Grounded like normal. And so I wanted to, this this video to be kind of a two-parted video. I, it's already been it's kind of long enough now that I've like given it this whole like I've gone off on all of these tangents. But I do want to tell you guys a bit more about my Quran journey because I I, I made a video um, some time back. And I said, I'm trying to become more transparent with you guys. And um, one of the things that was requested was like to speak about my Quran journey. So I'm going to do that now. If you're not interested in my Quran journey or, or like personal stories,
story and you just want to see more of the app or hear more about the app and see its features, uh, you can skip to that because I will have put timestamps. Okay, so let's talk a bit about my story. Essentially, it's quite a, a quick and perhaps even somewhat relatable story from what I've heard many people or many of my followers talk about. But um, growing up, I have very vague uh, memories of madrasa or I don't even know if it was madrasa, but like Quran school, like going to learn Quran. And um, essentially, my, 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 my nan, she taught us Quran, as in she taught us like Fatiha and like she taught us the Salah when we were kids. And then after that, we, we as children, we would go to a Quran school or, or class of some sort i got again very vague memories of it to the point where i i can't even remember how much of it is like real memories and how much of it is distorted but i have this like memory of being in a quran class and um i used to go with omar my brother obviously because we were in the boys class and uh, let's just say like the disciplinary action in back in those days and we're talking about 20 years ago now or over 20 years ago was a lot different to now and my mom like any mother probably uh, wasn't, she wasn't happy with some of those disciplinary practices. And so she pulled us out. Um, after that, there was this kind of like big gap because again, I want to be conscious of like, I want to protect the honor and the ird of my, my mom and my brothers and sisters and my parents. Uh, so I don't want to go into too much details, but essentially after that, like there was lots of things happening in our childhood that perhaps distracted from a formal continue, continuation of like Quran studies. Uh, such as like my parents separating and so on and so forth and then we, we kind of before you know it you're older right and so when I became 20 I started I, I fell in love with religion so I think at the age of 21 or 22 I went to my first ever proper formal education of Quran I went to Badr Academy and I, at 22 years old, I was learning Alif Ba Ta. And I, I, at that point, I remember like some like really clear memories. Like when I, I, for example, my first ever friend that I made, like who was, I suppose, like on Dean, we would drive past sometimes shops and I would say to him, I would look at the halal logo and I'd say, I know that's a halal because I've like memorized the image, but I can't even make out the letters. The one, like the first lesson I want to give to anybody who's starting out in even reading Quran, can't read Quran and so on and so forth, is I was 22 when I started learning Alif Bata and I was so embarrassed. And what I realized is that there's nothing to be embarrassed about. My class was full of adults and it felt amazing. Like I've been putting this thing off because I was so embarrassed and it felt like finally, like I used to look at people in the masjid who were just like reading through the Quran. I used to be so jealous. Like I wish I could just like r flow through it. And about two years in, uh, so what I used to do is I used to actually recite, I used to read to my Quran teacher, Ustad Yahya. And one time, I remember this day so clearly, uh, maybe like a year or two in after like we were doing, because we were doing Quran and Arabic studies at that time. Uh, I was sick and as in I was just unwell and um, although I'm also sick. Um, uh, Ustad Yahya and Ustad Jamal came to visit me because I was not well. They came to my house. That was lovely. They bought me gifts and we were just talking and I said to Ustad Yahya, but I hadn't been well for a while so I hadn't recited to him. I said, can I just read to you? And at that time I was like reading for fluency just so the more I read the better I can become fluent. I started reading to him and Ustad Jamal said, Faisal, I think it's time that you start memorizing. And memorizing Quran for me was like, it was just something that I was, in my head, I was never going to do. Because I thought, I in my thinking was, look, it's not haram, it's not like obligatory for me to memorize the Quran. This was my thinking at the time. So, you know, there's some people who are good at memorizing and I'm just not one of them and that's fine. And it was because I got pushed in it and he said you're ready to start memorizing you should start memorizing and then i said well how would i do it and he said i think we said yeah will take you on as a student he kind of forced you to yeah he'll take you on and so then that's when my memorization journey began i started memorizing i would, I would go to see Ustad Yahya once a week and that would go on for a few years pretty much all the way until i came to dubai um and so that was from like 25 until like 28 or something the journey has not been easy. Anyone who's memorizing Quran will tell you that you have to put everything into it. And when you don't, you feel really upset at yourself. You feel you want to beat yourself up. Like you, when you forget surahs, you feel so ashamed and upset. And, and that's since then, it's been an uphill battle. I've not made progress as I would want to. To be completely transparent, I'm on like, I'm on currently on the 20, the 26th juz or something. So like starting from the back. So th I've, I had initially done 30, 29, 28. I think I'm on 27th, maybe. I believe it's... And so you think, oh, like you memorize four Jews. And it's like, well, no, I haven't because you have to constantly revise them. So I don't... I, I, can't, I couldn't even say I've memorized four Jews. And that's quite shameful because you think, well, you see videos of people who have gone away to study Quran and within three months they've studied... They've, they've, they've memorized the entire Quran. And so I'm definitely on the slower side, but 
I'm not giving up. And maybe there'll be like a, I've heard that there's like this, normally after like memorizing five judges, there's like this like switch where all of a sudden like you just become better. Right? And, and it's about self-discipline. It's about getting better at memorizing and stuff like that. And so I'm nowhere near where I want to be. And that's the journey. That's like the beginning to the end. That's where I'm at. That's, I think a lot of people have, inquired about my Quran journey for a long time and I've never really spoken about it maybe because I've been shy embarrassed or I've also not wanted to kind of like talk about myself in that way or my worship but that's where we're at the reason Tartil plays such a big part of it is because now I've moved to Dubai and the idea is that, that I'm meant to be um, restarting my classes with Ustad Yahya and it's been me who's been I found it tough in many ways to settle in here and it's taken some time and so trying to get that routine going again has been tough I started again kind of by myself in by using tortilla and i'm going to show you guys now uh, some of my favorite features in tortilla so let me know in the comments below before i show you guys like the tortilla stuff your guys experience most it'd be amazing to motivate others and remember guys that it's a journey and i remember like someone in freshly grounded who i interviewed once he said practicing the religion in in all of its different forms it's not necessarily about reaching the end it's about dying on that journey and so if you have the, I really, really have the intention of memorizing the Quran and becoming a hafiz and I want my children to become, huf, become hufad and I, 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 please make the ah that I, I do become a hafiz and I will literally die trying. That's my goal. My goal, so guys, put in the comments below any motivation that you have for myself and others and let me show you guys Tartil. Okay, so um, we're opening up Tartil now. So here's some of my favorite features of Tartil, right? Okay, so this is the reason it's on uh, Surah Al-Isra. We'll start with this, actually. So I'll just go to, like, Fatiha just to start with. But the reason it's on Surah Al-Isra, because I was showing my mother-in-law, actually, how it works. This is, like, a really cool feature of Tartil, first of all. Let's say, for example, you there's an ayah of the Qur'an that you, in your head, you're like, where is that ayah from, right? Let's say, for example, you're listening to Feshi Gaudid, is the episode of Tim Humble, and he's like, oh, Allah says in the Qur'an, and then he recites an ayah. And you're like, oh, where is that ayah from? You can literally press this speaker button... And, pl and and hold it next to the telly or the computer and Tartil will pick up the ayah and it will show you that exactly where the ayah is. So I'll give you an example. So there's another example. It's like, for example, there's some prominent surahs in the Quran. For me, one of them is um, when Allah says, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم ونزل ونزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء and and the ayah continues right so I remember I remember before like trying to find that ayah so let's do that right so ونزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء and there you go alhamdulillah so it says surah al-isra so then it it shows you where it is so ونزل من القرآن ما هو شفاء وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَلَا يَزِيدُ الظَّالِمِينَ إِلَّا خَسَارًا So, we can actually like see the translation. Let's see the translation of that ayah. Let's listen to it first of all. Oh, by the way, it's great for memorization in this sense as well. You can literally loop um, how many times you hear something. So sometimes you like listening, when you're memorizing, you like to listen to like one page over and over and over again. And you can do that here with like these settings that you can see. Um, so that's really cool. But anyway, we're not going to play that right now. We're just going to listen to this ayah. وَنُنَزِّلُ مِنَ الْقُرْآنِ مَا هُوَ شِفَاءٌ وَرَحْمَةٌ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَلَا يَزِيدُ الظَّالِمِينَ إِلَّا خَسَارًا We can even see the translation like why not while we're here. So this ayah it says, We send down the Qur'an as a healing and a mercy for the believers, but it only increases the wrongdoers in loss. It's an amazing ayah. That's one of my favorite features. I'm just going to show you one more feature because this video has already gone really long and I appreciate that you guys are probably busy. Um, but hands down, my favorite feature in terms of actually helping me, mem me memorize. So right now I'm trying to revise Surah Waqi'ah. So I'll show you guys. Uh, so we'll go to Surah Waqi'ah. We can either look for it like this or I'm actually just going to search it on there. So we'll switch to recite. Ida waqa'atil waqi'ah. Okay, so it's taking me to the face. That's, that's a lazy way of doing it because that's not actually... Um, I suppose like one of the ways you went to find, go to Surah, but anyway, that helps. Okay, so um, here's what's amazing, right? So we'll go to the next page. I'm try let's say I'm trying to revise the page, which I'm trying to do. You can make it go blank. So I've now hidden it, it all completely. And then I'll revise, I'll like start memorizing and it will tell me once I make a mistake. Let's see how far I can get without a mistake. Please be mindful of my, don't all criticize my tajweed at the same time, please. That'd be very kind of you. Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يطوف عليهم ولدان مخلدون بأكواب وأباريق وكأس من معين 
لا يسدعون عنها ولا ينزفون وفاكهة مما يتخيرون ولحم طير مما يشتهون وحور عين كأمثال اللؤلؤ المكنون جزاء بما كانوا يعملون لا يسمعون فيها لغوا ولا تأثيما إلا قيلا سلاما سلاما وأصحاب اليمين ما أصحاب اليمين في صدر مخضود وطلح منضود وظل ممدود وماء مسكوب وفاكهة كثيرة لا مقطوعة ولا ممنوعة وفرش مرفوعة إنا أنشأناهن إنشاء فجعلناهن أبكارا عربا أترابا لأصحاب اليمين ثلة من الأولين وقليل من الآخرين I, I, I just, I realized after, um, but that's an example of um, mistake detection. And also it logs my mistakes. So I can check back later which mistakes I made. So it's really cool. Really, really cool. Uh, anyway, guys, so let me round this video up by saying, um, I'm really excited about this new journey. I am very grateful for you guys always following my journey. Uh, like, I don't know, I've not always known my journey. Like it's, I've just been a guy and I started documenting things here and there on the internet i started documenting my journey i don't know like when i was 20 or 21 and it, i had the hat business is aha then we went fresh grounded and and you guys have always just been amazing in following my journey and being very forgiving with my lack of uploading sometimes and sometimes i've gone off social media for six months and stuff like that but i love you guys for sticking with me and so this new part of my journey i hope you guys stick with me with this uh if you haven't already got teletil i really recommend downloading it it's an amazing app i'm really looking forward to pushing it and to trying to get into it more hands of more muslims and help others uh read quran memorize quran uh, in any way we can and um yeah that's the video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys gained something beneficial out of it and i hope you guys download tortil and benefit from it and tell your families and friends that's the video assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh